Kino first. Hey, I'm Kino. Let's talk about rounding and estimating. Estimating and rounding are two ways to quickly look at numbers and just make it easier to talk about, easier to share. Here is the first rule. If the number we're looking at ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then you are going to round up. What does rounding mean? Well, here we go. Here's an example. If you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bricks. Get out of here! We got bonus bricks. We need to clear the set here. If we have seven bricks, seven bricks, that's our first example. Seven bricks. Well, the number ends. What was the rule? Five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Yeah, it's seven. So we round up. That means we have, after rounding to the nearest 10, because seven is closer to 10 than, say, zero, that would be a little too far. We just round up and say about 10. That's what we're doing here. Oh. Okay, well don't get confused. We can do another one. Let's say this time we have Banana! No, not banana. All right, not banana, but if we have even more bricks this time We're gonna round up first. Let's figure out what we have here Rounding is again a way to talk about numbers and make it as easy as possible That's five right there then we're gonna have another, let's move the banana. Come on, banana, get out of here. No, banana, we're all done. All right, we have five right here. And we have another five over here. And another five over there, that's good enough. We'll stop there. If we have 15 bricks, hey, what's going on here? Clear these out of here. Okay, if we have 15 bricks, we're going to round to the nearest 10. Well, the number ends in five. So the rule says we round up. That means we have approximately 20 because five, hey, banana, five fits the rule here. If it ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then you're going to round up to the nearest 10. So we could say it's approximately 20 bricks. Another example. What if it's 99 bricks? Well, the rule says if it ends in nine, right, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then, hey, this is easy. Instead of just saying 99 bricks, we'll just round up. What's the nearest 10? Well, nine is pretty close to 10. So this means it actually is about 100 bricks. Why do we do this? It's a way to talk about numbers and make it as easy as possible, especially when you're dealing with a large number like Hezzy keeps dumping on our plate here, or our book. If the number ends in zero, one, two, three, or four, we are going to round down. So, here's an example. Example. Let's say you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you have twelve bricks, 
Well, the number ends in two, so the rule says if you're just talking about estimating by rounding here, you're going to go down to the nearest 10. So what's the nearest 10? It's not 20, you round down. What is going on here? Okay, there's an explosion of bricks going on. The nearest 10 here that you round down to is just that, 10, because it ends in two, so we go down. All right, well, what if we had 34? It ends in four, that was the rule. If the number ends in zero, one, two, three, or four, we round down. So instead of saying 34 bricks, which, trust me, we have no shortage of bricks right now. If you have 34 bricks, you're gonna round down to the nearest 10. So if we, hey, that's too many bricks. All right, banana, come on banana, get out of here. You're gonna round down to 30, that's the nearest 10. If you have, let's do a banana. Come on, banana. Let's say you have a big number. Let's say you have 153. If you want to round down to the nearest 10 because it ends in three, well, then what's the nearest 10? It's 150. 153 bricks, you could say is approximately, it's 150 bricks, you know, it's about 150. Why are we doing this rounding up and rounding down? Because on a number line, on a number line, what we'd have here, banana, is we have this idea that numbers are gonna be either closer to zero or 10. And that's why if we say it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to round up to the nearest 10. But if it's one, two, three, or four, or even zero, banana, you're gonna round down to the nearest 10. That's why we have this convention, this rule. Really, it's two rules. If it ends in zero, one, two, three, or four, we round down to zero. But if it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we're gonna round up to the nearest 10. If you have 85 stinky old shoes, that's just a bunch of stinky old shoes, round up, 90. If you have 92 Lego toy bricks for me and you, round down, that's about 90. If you have 36 pieces of gum under your shoe, ooh, that's like 40. If you have 29, Reasons to rhyme. Why would we have that many? Round up, 30. If you have 45 Lego bricks, don't step on them, don't dare slip. Round up, that's like 50. If you have 73 donuts, better share some. It's basically 70. Round down. If you have 92 old sticks of gum underneath your shoe, round down, that's like 90. If you have 27 reasons to hit the skip button, don't do it, round up to 30 though. If you have 112 belt buckles. I don't know why you'd have that many, but round down, 110. If you have 27 Lego bricks, don't trip, don't slip. Ouch, round up, 30. If you have 45 donuts, you better share some for me and you. Round up, that's about 50. If you have 39 dump trucks, that's a lot of moving power. Round up, that's like 40.
estimating and rounding. concept also works for bigger numbers. You can round to the nearest hundred, for example. If you have 344, well, 344 is closer to 300 than it is to 400. So in this example, we would round down to 300. If you had 344 bricks, you could just round down and say, that's about 300 bricks. And again, if you need to pause at any point in our videos and rewind and do these things over and over again, kind of like these bricks keep getting dumped out over and over again, that's okay. Here's another example. Let's say you had 651 bricks. Well, banana. That means you could round down to 600 or you could round up to 700. Well, 651, it's closer to 700 than it is to 600. Banana's driving the tractor. So you would round up to 700. Now look what the banana is doing. Right now, the banana is driving the tractor. All right, banana. Here's another example. If you had 982 and you wanted to round to the nearest 100, well, is it closer to 900 or is it closer to 1,000? This one's easy. It's so much closer to 1,000. That's right, Hezzy's right. You would round up to the nearest 100, which in this case would be, whoa, 1,000. Now that's pretty advanced. You can skip this part if you need to and just go back to rounding the tens. Let's do some greater gator. What are you doing here, buddy? All right, we got 31. Do we round up or do we round down? Well, the convention is if it ends in one, two, three, or four, you round down. And so that's what we're doing here. If you have 31 old stinky shoes, well, that's just like saying, okay, you basically have 30 stinky old shoes. Well, what if you have 72 tacos? Uh, that's a lot of tacos. That's six by 12. That's something that ends in two. And the rule says if it's one, two, three, or four, in the ones place if that's what it ends in then you round down so basically 70 tacos but what if you have 94 bulldozers first of all that's a lot of bulldozers secondly if it ends in four one two three or four that means you gotta round down so we'll say that's about 90 bulldozers now you have to compare that and contrast that with the convention that if it's five six seven eight or nine then you round up Yes, 95 splits the difference between 90 and 100, but because it ends in a five, we say, all right, that's about 100. So if you really had 95 sticks of gum, that's eh, about 100. What if we have 85 donuts and we want to make it easy to talk about? If we want to make it easier, well, do we round up or do we round down? That's right, it ends in five, so we round up. We say, it's about 90 donuts. Speaking of donuts, I sure would like to go get some, but I can't do that without you. So join the newsletter. Just kidding, donuts have nothing to do with the newsletter, but we will grow this community together with your help. Smash the big red subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time. God bless. Okay, let's do another bonus. Maybe two more bonuses. Banana, two more bonuses. Maybe four more bonuses. Let's just see how it goes. If we have 74 bricks and you want to round and say it's about no, not banana. If you want to say it's about 70 or 80 bricks, should we round down to 70? Or should we round up to 80? Hmm. What should we do, Hezzy? It ends in four, so do we round down or do we round up? Round down. We round down because it ends in four, so it's about 70 bricks. Very good. Let's try another one. If you have 95 bricks, do you round up to 100 or do you round down to 90? Round down. 
No, that was a good guess. If it ends in five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to round up. So we say 95 bricks, that's about 100 bricks. Two more bonuses. If you have 133 bricks, and you wanna to round to the nearest 100, do you round down to 100 bricks, or do you round up to 200 bricks? Round up. That's a good guess, but 133, that's close to 100. Think about it this way. 13 is close to 10. We are going to round down to 100. This is advanced, so you can skip this part if you want to. Last one, if you have 555 bananas, do you round up to 600 or do you round down to 500? If you wanna just talk about a nice easy number with that many bananas, cause that's a lot of bananas. It's closer to 600. We would round up and again, Part of this has to go back to what we were learning earlier with rounding to the nearest 10. It's closer to 600. Think about it this way. 550 bananas. 550 bananas. It ends in a five. Even here, it ends in a five. We could round up to the nearest 10. That would be 560 banana. But then, that's closer to 600. So that's why we round up there rather than the 500. This part's advanced. Feel free to pause and rewind and do this part as many times as you need to.